Self-declared National Resistance Movement General Miguna Miguna arrived in Canada to a warm reception from friends and family in Toronto. After a few days in custody in Kenyan police cells and almost 24 hours en route to his adopted country, the first thing on his mind, as you would imagine, was to take a shower. He has given his experiences at the hands of police since his arrest last Friday. Adorning his signature Swahili cap, a visibly tired Miguna Miguna walked into the Toronto International Airport to a rousing welcome complete with flowers, relatives and friends to welcome him to his adopted home. As he shook hands with those who came out to receive him, it was apparent the message displayed was clearly aimed at the many miles away from Canada where hours before Meguna had been deported from. After a couple of selfies with the people who came to receive him, he had serious matters that he hoped to accomplish before making any major steps in life. No, today I want to go and take a shower. Yes. I've not showered for the last six days, maybe seven. <laughs> So I need to take a good shower, hug my wife, hug my children, then eat properly. I've not eaten for the last one week. And then I can talk about anything else. At one point, Miguna seemed overwhelmed with the amount of attention that he was getting from those present. Who is asking me questions? So, because so, I can't keep back and forth. When asked about his thoughts on those who arrested him and ordered for his deportation. They are watching me. Come, baby, come. Mr. Miguna was put on a KLM flight departing Nairobi for Amsterdam, then Canada, on Tuesday night. The government explained that he had renounced his Kenyan citizenship and acquired Canadian nationality, but Mr. Miguna maintained that he is Kenyan and that he will be back. Leila Mohamed, NTV.